Hey guys, enter the stars. And God is amazing. Every day we search for truth and we find beautiful, beautiful mathematical truths that prove the Bible's authenticity. And I'm going to share one with you today that I guarantee you've never heard before. This is a new truth. I looked up the word fish in the Bible. It appears 69 times. Jesus used two fish to feed the crowds. The number 69 is associated with Pisces. The two fish swimming about each other in a 69 position. This is amazing because Jesus was on this earth during the age of Pisces when it was seen on the horizon with the procession of the equinox, the procession of the earth ages during that 2000 years. The symbol of Pisces was seen on the horizon, overlaying in perfect order previous earth ages and Bible history. But there is something even more profound than the 69 times it's mentioned. In the New Testament, it's mentioned 33 times, as you can see here. But this is just what blew me away. Jesus knew his math. And here it says, Simon Peter went up and dragged the net to land full of fish, 153. And although there were so many, the net was not broken. This was the miracle that Jesus provided. 153, so I looked up that number. And lo and behold, 153 is the measure of the fish. How did Jesus know this? Because he was God of the universe. And I have a feeling that we will find many, many more of these miracles. The mathematical properties of 153 go even further. It is the sum of the first 17 integers. We're going to look into this number 17 a bit more. Here is the pyramidal tree that shows that 153 is the sum of the first 17 integers. It's also the sum of the first five positive factorials. One, two, three, four, and five. It is associated with the geometric shape known as the Vesica Pisces or the Mandorla. The measurement of a circle by Archimedes referred to this ratio, the measure of the fish. And this is just fascinating. You see, Jesus encoded the words that came out of his mouth so that we could someday find the truth when mankind was ready. You see, God was the Alpha and the Omega. And in fact, the word Tetragrammaton, the name for God, occurs 153 times in the book of Genesis. So from the beginning until the Savior, he comes on this planet and completes the circle, the two fish. Now, they acknowledge the 153 number, but they try to dismiss it as irrelevant and just a chance here in Wikipedia. But why isn't information like this being shared at our churches? Why? Why don't they want people to have this higher level of faith, mathematically seeing the Bible? work. Why? 
Why are we limited to a form of faith that lets many people down or opens them up to ridicule when they can simply mathematically prove the authenticity of the Bible? That is the question. The two fish that Jesus fed the crowd with and told his disciples, when I leave, you will find me in the upper rooms with the man carrying the water drug, the next earth age of Aquarius, which is what we are in now. This is where he told the disciples to go to prepare. And in Matthew 17, we hear another story about fish. As Jesus and Peter go before the temple and are asked to pay a temple tax, and Jesus reasons with Peter and he says, What do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes? From their sons or from strangers? And Peter said, From strangers. And Jesus said, Then the sons are free. We are free because we are under the Most High. Nevertheless, he says, Lest we offend them, Go to the sea, cast in the hook, and take the fish that comes up first. When you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and you. Showing that Jesus is the master, not any man. And that none of us have to pay the temple tax. Because he could simply, because money is irrelevant. To the most high and if jesus isn't asking for it then neither should any man man needs your money god does not you see it is written that god cares for even the lilies of the field and the birds of the air. And how much more so does he care for the children of the Most High? Do you ever wonder how a fish can swim upstream in the face of hundreds of cubic feet per second of current rushing past it. Have you ever taken a moment to watch how a fish does this? And I argue that the fish is still, the fish is still, and knows who God is, just like we are instructed to do. Be still and know that He is God.